Hi, my name's Andrew. And my name is Thomas. And today we're off to... Newcastle. Newcastle. So, um, I was about to say York. It's Newcastle was... Um, it was really wet and rainy. Wet and rainy and there'd been big, yeah. big floods in the country. Do you remember? It'd yeah. been, they had a really big heat wave and then all of a sudden there was floods. So when we were on the train... Because God was saying sorry for the big sunshine. Maybe, maybe. Um, but when we got on the train, it was absolutely rampant, crowded. Do you remember? Yeah. There was hardly anywhere to sit, luckily. I bring my own chair, so there's only one place for me to sit. And, um, and me. And you. Well, you had your own seat as well. So, um, And it was a bit longer than the other train journeys. It was three hours to Newcastle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit longer. But I spent quite a bit of time in Newcastle years ago. I went there for a trial of a new drug. They tested a new drug on me. It, what, so, so you didn't get the muscle disease? Yeah. I mean, it didn't work, but it... Um, oh, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. <laughs> um, but I've been to Newcastle loads for this trial. I've never really been around Newcastle. So when I went with you, it was great to be able to go around and explore the city. And it was when it was really wet and rainy. Okay. And even I remember when it was so wet, the, the roads were so slippy, a car went like this. Yeah, car skidded away. So, I um, hope you liked the video, and um, this is how we got to Newcastle, and we'll uh, see you in the middle. There must be a buzz. So, what are we hoping for when we get to the train station? A train. The train is good, a parking space for the car, and you've got it. And a train. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Space. Three disabled bays at the train station. Woo! Can't find one. Ah, there's places there as well. So. Anyway, we do have train tickets. We're okay for train tickets. And there is two spaces. Which is good, because when we came here on Wednesday, there was no paid spaces. Okay, and the left one. Or oh, the right one. You're cool.
strong as a man. Your arms are stronger than mine. Your hands are. <laughs> My hands are still stronger. My fingers are still stronger than yours. You can move my arms. So we made it to Newcastle. It was really ram-packed, wasn't it? It was ram-packed on the train. And we got there, first thing we did, we got a taxi. But do you remember, the taxi turned up and it would only be for one person in the wheelchair and there was me and you and Nicholas. And then we had to order another taxi and wait for like half an hour. And I'm like, we've got to get to this museum, man, before it closes. Because we went to... Well, we were at a clock. It was the Hancock Museum. No, we, we, stayed, we, we stayed there for two nights, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, no, it was just, just, just one night. Just an overnight stay and then back the next day. But we went to the I was, thinking, I was thinking of Leicester. Leicester was one night as well. Oh. <laughs> they all been one night. And um, so we went to the Hancock Museum. Yeah. Do you remember they had all those animals? I know. Dinosaurs. And there was a space bit to it. And then there was the Hadrian's Wall, the long, the long wall that goes all the way across the top yeah. of the window. Um, and then we went upstairs and we were really, really surprised. What did we see upstairs? Do you remember? We'd seen him in Leicester, and we'd seen him in London, and he normally would live in the Great Hall at the Natural History Museum. It was Who did we Dippy. see? We saw Dippy the dinosaur upstairs. We went to the Museum of Life, and a bit of a confusion, didn't we? Because it was another museum, this Discovery Museum, and we got there, and they weren't open. So I read the times wrong. So we, we were there an hour early, so then we were kind of zoomed around for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good stay in, in Newcastle. I really enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoy the second half to see what we got up to, see the sights, and uh, we'll see you at the end. What? Watch the watch the taxi. The taxi, yeah. How you doing? Hey, uh, yeah, fine. How many Uh, me and two little ones. Just only one. Ah, uh, one person. Yeah. Okay. So.
Cam, under the boat. So let's go for the lift, right? Cam. We're in the centre for life. Yeah, and we don't know where we're going. And Hello again. Hello again. How are you? I'm good. Yes, yeah, are you? Are you picking up today? Yeah, I'm going to be home now. Back, back to Canterbury. I'm going to go over there. Um, You're on left. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I'm right. so sorry. <laughs> Can we ask Nicholas to get a bag of crisps? Can we indeed? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that means Was born in Newcastle. Pops was born in Newcastle, so we went to see the castle of Newcastle, didn't we? Which was a. It was like a it was like a house of God. Was it? Oh, okay. It was and a really posh place. We saw the bridge, didn't we? We saw the big famous bridge. Um, yeah. And you met, that was the first trip we'd been on, I think, with Nicholas. It was the first time we'd seen him have about five breakfasts. Do you remember? I felt sick. Uh, well, I, I took some pictures because he kept that up for more and more food, and. They also it was funny in that hotel. It was a lovely hotel, wasn't it? It's a, it was a holiday inn. It was part of the holiday inn group, but it wasn't a holiday inn. Um, but they offered, again, a free carer's room, which was really cool. And, and a free wheelchair room. Yeah. No, the wheelchair room we paid for, but the carer's room was free. How was that fair? Well, they give you one, you have to pay for one room, don't you? 
Why and then the other one you get free. Um, but getting there. Why don't I want to be free? In the carer's room you Okay, so we'll, we'll, just to please Thomas, the carer's room we paid for, but the wheelchair room was free. Is that better? Excellent. Um, and the museum, the museum of Life, you really enjoyed going to the Museum of Life. Did, did you see the car skid? I don't know. It was outside the Museum of Life, but I can't remember if that's actually on And the dog that barked at us. There was a dog barking at us. It was, it was like a, a it was lab on, dog. It was on the balcony of a flat as we kind of zoomed and around. It, it was like a, um, like a Labrador. Mm, yeah. And that was while Nicholas was having breakfast. We just went to zoom. Well, we had to zoom around. We had to go to the train station because we didn't realise that um, not all of the trains um, that go from London to Newcastle would fit my wheelchair on. If it was a certain type of train, um, there wasn't enough space to get me down the corridor. We found that out when we that, went to that, That's a really bad doo-doo's problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Museum of Life, you really like that, and I got yeah. something a bit wrong, because we were going to Newcastle as part of our adventures to follow things that you were studying at school. Mm. So we'd gone to Paris because you were doing an adventure. And the Mona Lisa. We'd gone to Leicester because that was the National Space Museum. And I was learning about Apollo 11. 11. And when we went to Newcastle, uh, there was supposedly a big space um, exploration at the Museum of Life. But we got there, and we stayed overnight, and <laughs> we went to the Museum of Life on the second day, not the first day. And we got there on the second day, and the museum had all changed to video games. So the space bit finished the day before. So we would have been there on the last day of the space bit if we'd gone there as soon as we got there. But we didn't. So it was such a bummer. So it was such a bummer. Yeah. yeah, but it was good fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I got to be a spaceman, wasn't I? You got to be a spaceman. And Nicholas and got sucks. to drink out of the toilet, which was gross. So Nicholas did. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. That toilet was actually a real toilet. It was actually a water fountain. Ready, hold tight.